Alright folks, welcome back to the shop. It's kind of a rainy, nasty day here in South Louisiana. I wanted to bring you in the shop here and tell you what I'm working on. Uh, first I want to tell you there's a there's a an easy way to help out the channel without any kind of donations or t-shirt sales or anything like that. I've set an Amazon affiliate link uh, down in the bottom of the video in the, the more section. If you simply click on that Amazon link, if you want to buy anything off Amazon for the next 20 minutes when you're on that link, uh, I'll get a few pennies of whatever purchase you make. It's not for a particular item like the precision screwdriver set or something in our review. If you go to Amazon from one of the links on any of my videos, uh, you'll actually contribute uh, to the channel and it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, but at any rate, here we go. We'll have a look at what we're working on here today in the shop. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool. All right, folks, I've had this, uh, this set of annular cutters here for, for quite some time. I've had this set of annular cutters for a while and had never put them to use. Uh, you could just run them in a, I guess you could run them in a regular collet, but they do have a, a place for two set screws. So looks like that would hog out a good bit of material. So I took a, uh, a regular end mill holder, this was for a 3 8 and uh, bored it out to uh, 750, what this is supposed to be here, and just kind of made a Morse Taper 3 uh, annular cutter holder. And while this particular holder here is, is hardened, uh, I wanted to try it again, order this blank from a little machine shop or you can get them on Amazon as well. Amazon links to little machine shop. But this is, the MT3 is hardened, but this is not. So uh, I'll be able to drill my hole and, and put my two set screws in here without having to deal with a piece of hardened material or, or having to anneal this and bring it back to where I can work with it. It was, uh, it was very hard. Uh, so anyhow, we'll go over to the lathe and uh, we'll drill this out and then we'll go to the mill and put a couple of set screws in there and maybe these things will be usable and get some use. We'll do a little demo on them, see if it actually works. Uh, I'll be using this uh, Morse Taper 3 holder. It's the only way I can figure out how to hold it in the lathe and get it to run true uh, since this part is on the taper. But anyhow, we'll go over there and have a look. Uh, somebody else asked about, you know, AVE doesn't like spinners. Uh, I just took a piece of titanium and flat cut down and put a radius on there. and It's a uh, skate bearing. And this is my own version of that as well, using a, a cutter. But anyhow, if you are into fidgets, something you can just do on your own. Those bearings are very inexpensive. All right, here we go. It's going over to the lathe. Uh, be careful, these uh, cutters are sharp. Maybe not the best idea for a fidget spinner, but anyhow, here we go. All right, so the plan is to come in here with, uh, drill this out to three quarters of an inch, maybe just a, a thousand or two under. Uh, when I did that, uh, when I modified that other end mill holder, I went to exactly uh, 750 and it's just a little loose so we'll keep it a thousand or two under on this one. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to start off with a 33 64 bit just because it's a brand new one and uh, but before I get started there I'm going to go ahead and chamfer these edges just to see how well uh, this MT3 holder is going to perform. If it's going to do any sliding around or not holding I don't want to. We'll have a change of plans there so Let's see what we can do here. Pretty well. 
Let's move on to the drilling. Can drill this out. It's a small pilot hole there, but we'll see what we get. Set this for an inch. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this, uh, got it lined up here in the vise. Looks like I've got it on center. I'll just use a square to uh, rotate it 90 degrees for my second one. Alright, I'm just going to come over here and touch off and go uh, half an inch in. off. I just want to make a flat spot here for drilling, so let's see what we get here.
rinse and repeat. Kit, pull it out of there, clean it up, see if it works. Alexa, stop the music. All right, folks, so here's the finished product. Uh, came out pretty nice. Put some 3 8 little grub screws in there. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll take it over there to the lathe. And give it a try. Never, uh, never used these annular cutters before. <clears throat> I know I'll have to knock the plug out when it does cut it out. But I've got a piece of aluminum set up over in the mill or the lathe. Let's go give it a try. All right, we'll give her a try at 460 RPM. See what we get. First time running this thing. Make sure we're in the clear. a good tap but uh
take it over there to the bench and have a look. Alright, so it's uh, got a pretty nice plug in it. Razor sharp. The, uh, there's the plug you get out of it. Actually, this would be a pretty good tool for making plugs. All right, so there we go. Little project annular cutter holder. Uh, one other thing, it makes an incredibly clean hole. It's almost uh, burr free. Very nice hole that thing makes. I could see where you could use it to hog out a lot of material and then drop back to a boring bar if you need to, you know, for more accurate results. <clears throat> but anyhow, real satisfied. These uh, cutters will come in handy. It really wasn't very expensive either. Uh, I've had them for quite some time. Just a kit off of Amazon. Once again, use the, uh, the link in the bottom of the video. Visit Amazon uh, if you purchase anything while you're on your shopping. It doesn't have to be anything that's listed. As long as you went there through the site link, and uh, you'll help out the channel. Appreciate it. Here we go.